let me start at the beginning. I had a client that I was meeting with, and we were going over what's been going on in his business, and he said to me, he goes, Mike, you know, I keep on hearing over and over and over again from people, it's too expensive, it's too expensive, it's too expensive, it's too expensive. And I said, well, what do you do? He says, well, I, you know, I get frustrated, I walk away, and I just accept it's too expensive. Now, let me ask you, has this ever happened to you before where someone's told you your product, your service, or whatever you're doing was too expensive or a myriad of other excuses that you've gotten? And you either accepted it or didn't know what to say? Well, after today, I'm going to share with you a very simple technique that you can use right away. And I made some handy little flashcards to remind you how to do a five-step process that is so simple, how to really diffuse anybody's excuse that they give you and really get to the you know, point at hand what's really going on, why they're saying what they're saying. Because a lot of times people just give you a blunt thing like, it's too expensive or whatever it is, or I can't afford it. But let's focus on it's too expensive for right now. So here's the technique and why I said I failed, because I failed to share this with you earlier and it's you know really my fault. So let me make sure I get this to you now. The first thing is, anytime someone says to you anything like it's too expensive, there's typically more to it than that. And if you just accept that, you're missing the real opportunity to you know connect or really market your product to another person. So when someone says it's too expensive, the first thing you have to do is opposite whatever they'd expect, because they're going to expect you to argue with them. Like, what do you mean it's too expensive? <laughs> You know how it goes. The first thing you really want to do is step one, which I call neutralize. See? It says neutralize. Neutralize the response, which means, you know, take the power away from it. So when someone says, that's too expensive, the most powerful thing you can ever say is, okay. Let me show you again. Okay. And when you say that, it's not that you're agreeing with them, but in their mind, it seems like you're agreeing with them, and you're giving a little validity to their reason. The second thing you do after you neutralize it, and I'll give you this, is you confirm what um, you confirm what's really, really going on. For instance, when somebody says confirm, when somebody says that's too expensive, you might want to say, "Well, is that your only concern with our product?" And right there, you're finding out what the real major concern is, because they might say, "No, no, there's four other things bothering me." Because wouldn't you like to know in advance if it's not just one thing, if it's four, five, ten reasons? Now you're finding out what it really is. And typically, when someone says it's too expensive, you say, okay, and then immediately say, well, is that the only challenge with our product or, or purchasing this? And they say, well, yeah, yeah, that's the only thing bothering me. Right there, they're locking themselves in to walk straight into step three, which is really to question and uncover. Now, questioning and uncovering, the main portion of this is uncovering. Figuring out why they feel that way. Kind of like a therapist asking, well, why do you feel that way? For instance, someone says that's too expensive. And you say, well, what do you mean it's too expensive? You know, what makes you feel that it's too expensive? Well, I don't know, Mike. I, I think I can get it at Sears cheaper. I saw it there last week. I can just drive to the mall and get it at Sears. And right there you found out is that they can get it at Sears and they can find it a little cheaper. And why would they buy it from you if they can get it from Sears? Got it? Now, that leads to the next point. The next thing is what's called the reposition. Now, what reposition means is now that we know that the real response is not the one you thought it was earlier, it's not that it's too expensive, it's that they can buy it at Sears. The reposition is one of the coolest techniques you can ever use. And here's where I use, wow, I guess I failed. Now, saying I guess I failed is something they never typically hear. No one wants to admit that they failed. And no one wants to hear you fail, but if they do, they're going to be taken back and you're going to break their pattern a little. So right here at step four, when they said it's too expensive and they can get it at Sears, you say, wow, I guess I failed. I guess I failed to show you all the value that you get with this product and the additional value you get getting it through me. And here's the opportunity for you to re-explain this, go through it over and over again until you can share enough value. Because remember... People will buy what they value and they see value in and what they desire to own. Now, when you say, I failed, I failed to share with you all the benefits of this. Let me take a few minutes and make sure I go over this to you because there's no way you should be feeling that this is too expensive. Let me make sure I go over this to you because I don't want to miss out. I don't want to fail you and I don't want to fail me by you not seeing the real value. Once you start to do this, they're going to open up to hearing the information one more time and that leads you to step Five. And this is re-asking for the sale, 
based on the real objection. See, the real objection is not that it's too expensive. The real objection is why should I buy it from you when I can get it at Sears, either for the same price or a better price. Now you're focusing on the real objection, not that it's too expensive, that you can get it at Sears, and why should I get it from you? That's what they're really asking you. So by using the technique, I failed. I failed you, and I failed to explain this correctly. People are going to be a lot more open to listening to what you have to say. This works throughout the direct sales business. This works with any time you're explaining anything to anybody, and they give you an objection of any sort. First thing is, make sure, I'm going to go through one more time, you neutralize with the OK technique. The second thing you do, very, very simply, is you confirm that's the only thing. Because if there's more than one, you've got to deal with every single one of them individually. The third thing is, you've got a question, and you've got to figure out what exactly do you mean by that. The fourth is reposition, and my favorite reposition technique is, I failed. I failed to explain to you all the value. Let me take the time to do that so I can go over with you in detail. I failed. And the last thing is you got to re-ask for the sale over and over again. Continue to ask the conversation over and over again. Continue to continue the conversation over and over again until you can overcome that response that you got. Really the secondary one, which is more important. Maybe a third or fourth along the way, but make sure to follow this procedure. So I'm glad I didn't fail you anymore. I'm glad I had an opportunity to share this with you. Share this with as many people as you'd like. Use the technique, because every time you use something like this, you're going to get better at it. You don't need to tell everyone you failed at everything in life, but when it comes down to this, neutralize and reframe and keep on asking for the sale. Use this technique, and I look forward to working with you guys into the future. Have a great day. I'm sure you enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.